Hi, I am uh, Sujit G.S., uh, the principal of uh, Monastery of Architecture based in Calicut. Um, and I'd like to take you all through the spaces of my house. This is in Calicut, just in the uh, town itself. Um, so while we started off with the design, one of the primary concerns was that we wanted our house to be filled with light. It had to be one with nature, surrounded by a lot of greenery with a lot of natural light and ventilation coming in. It's a very transparent space with a lot of openings looking out into the uh, greenery which surrounds it. The sit-out is uh, one of the most used uh, spaces in our house. It is just a simple uh, covered uh, space which is open on all sides. There's a uh, built-in charupadi which we've created and a built-in seat there. So it is one of the most used spaces. And the charubadi is also a little bit uh, deliberately wide, uh, designed so that you can even lie down on it, uh, it you, or you can just sit back with your legs folded up. It's a very comfortable way of uh, sitting. The living and dining space is a one continuous space. Uh, uh, with, that, with a very transparent staircase behind. Uh, that is the western side, so I didn't want to close it off at all because the wind uh, keeps coming in through that side. We've used a lot of built-in furniture. The sofa uh, is again a built-in sofa, which continues uh, as a console for the TV. Console is actually a masonry built-in thing. So the idea being that if, if at all we have larger gatherings, that console actually acts as a secondary seating space also. Uh, and uh, we have a continuous balcony uh, along that living dining, which looks out into the garden. Uh, the balcony also acts as a buffer, providing protection from the sun, as well as uh, during the rains from the southwest. The bedrooms are all uh, pretty simple. What we've ensured is that there's a good cross ventilation through the spaces. Uh, they face east, uh, uh, so there's a lot, lot of uh, breeze blowing in through. The master bedroom uh, can be completely opened out. The glass door come window is just completely openable and you can that entire thing stretches out into that garden space. The uh, master bedroom toilet is also interesting. We've deliberately kept a uh, skylight there, uh, which just baths the toilet in sunlight throughout the day. Uh, and there are, we have plants growing there inside the toilet. So it's like an open shower kind of a concept we have for the toilets. The private uh, living room below kind of acts as an extension of the garden space. Uh, it's a very cozy uh, space to curl up with a book uh, and it's also a, a nice space to just sit inside and enjoy the rain. It's very private, uh, screened with a lot of trees and because it's a little bit lower, creates its own privacy. And then you have this long, nice uh, textured rubble wall, which kind of angles that uh, space. The terrace is also another uh, interesting space to spend our evenings. Uh, the high uh, canopies of the trees kind of create uh, an outdoor living space. It's like an outdoor living room there uh, on the terrace with that large tree canopies forming the ceiling there.